Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Ryan Shelley. In this episode of the Estimate Marketing Minute, I want to talk about Google's switch to the Mobile First Index. The Mobile First Index is coming. What they're basically doing is they're splitting between the desktop and the mobile version of indexing. So your site's actually going to get indexed twice by Google now. Now the biggest reason we need to pay attention to this is that the mobile index will be the dominant index for search from now on. This is because more and more people are moving to mobile devices. It's easier to walk around and search things on your mobile device. Most people have kind of even abandoned computers at home and have gone towards tablets. And some of them aren't even using tablets. They're simply using their really high functioning and awesome new smartphones. So what do you need to do as a business owner or as an SEO agency or marketing agency to get ready for the Mobile First Index? Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about five things that you can do right away to make sure that your site's ready to go. first thing you need to be aware of is speed. Speed is more important than ever, especially when it comes to mobile searching. Google knows that people aren't as patient as they used to be, and that's why they want your site to load within two seconds. Now, that seems ridiculously fast considering if you've been on the internet any length of time. I mean, back in the good old days in American Online, it took you, <laughs> you know, minutes and minutes and minutes to, to kind of wait for your site to load or, or really just to get online. And then sometimes you get cut off, you know, because someone would call in the middle of, of really you connecting online. How frustrating was that? Good thing we don't have that problem anymore, but we've kind of gone to the other extreme where everyone expects things to be instant. So what can you do to make your site load faster? Well, the first thing you can do is optimize your images. There's a lot of great WordPress plugins if you're using a WordPress site to optimize those images. If you're not using WordPress, what you want to do is make sure that you don't have this really, really large image that you're going to scale down and, and actually kind of configure to be smaller on your site. So if, you're, if your image is like 2,000 pixels, but then on your site it's really going to be like 400 pixels, make sure you just make that, that, that image 400 pixels. That way you're reducing the size of the image, you're compressing the size of that image, and you're not really having this extra weight on your site. The second thing you can do is minify your code. This is kind of making sure that your code is easier for the crawlers to read, easier for the service to pick up and deliver faster, and you're not having all this extra code. So you're combining your code together, minifying it. Again, if you use WordPress, there's a ton of great plugins out there, and I'll make sure to put some links to those below that can help you minify your site content. You also need to start using uh, browser caching, so leverage browser caching. Uh, WP Fastest Cache is a really good one. WP Total Cache is a good one. There's a number of other ones, especially if you're on a WordPress site, that will help you leverage browser cache. If you're not using a WordPress site, it's a little bit more difficult and you need to understand how to really access that HD access file to put the appropriate uh, language in there to make sure that your site is being cached properly. What caching does is it actually loads part of your site into the browser. So when the user goes to your site and they've been on your site, it's storing browser cache. Sometimes you've seen in, you know, delete cache, delete history inside your browser. What it's doing, it's storing some of the files to your site. So when that user comes back, that site's going to load faster because it already knows a little bit about that site and has some, some information stored on it. The last thing you can do is uh, remove a lot of redirects. If your site's redirecting a lot of time, maybe you you're redirecting one page to another page, you've moved a lot of content around, those extra redirects can actually start to hurt, harm you because it's making the server work that much harder to really understand where all the content is on your site, where the new stuff is, what's the right stuff, what's the wrong stuff. So getting rid of some of those redirects can really help you speed up your website. Mobile crawlers can now understand a lot more than they used to. They can understand the Java, they can understand the CSS, they can understand the, the different file formats we're giving them. So this is actually going to help not only your site kind of load faster because it can cache on mobile, but at the same time it's going to help the search engines understand what your content about, what your mobile experience is, and, and how that really interacts with users. The third thing you can do is have a really good mobile design. Now, while a lot of sites have moved to responsive web design or they have a mobile site, not all mobile sites are created equal. And honestly, even some of the responsive sites, just because you have responsive coding doesn't really mean that your site looks great or works great on mobile. So make sure that your mobile experience is a really high quality experience. If you have Flash on your website, it's time to let it go. 
flash takes really long to load, and it also doesn't work on a lot of mobile devices. Um, Apple really put a lot of energy in behind killing flash when they uh, announced the iPhone because the iPhone doesn't support flash. Now with HTML5 and as code continues to really be reinvented because of what the internet is all about, it's gonna just, Flash isn't really gonna have that much of importance anymore. So get rid of it now. It's gonna help your mobile experience and make sure that's consistent across all channels. The other thing you wanna do is get rid of all those pop-ups. You know, sometimes a pop-up is fine, but sometimes for a mobile user, it's just annoying. They're trying to get content right now. And if they get a lot of pop-ups and they've gotta click out and, and use their finger to kind of push those little buttons, it's really gonna annoy them, have a bad experience, and they're most likely gonna bounce. And that really brings us to our last point, is design for the finger. We don't have mouses on mobile. This is our mouse right here. This is what we're going to use, tap things, you know, and you got to make sure that it's really easy for the user to The fourth thing is, is on-page SEO. On-page SEO is still extremely important because this is how the crawler is going to start to understand what your site's about. So have the right title tags. Take time to really put in the good descriptions. Descriptions may not matter for ranking per se, but it's going to let the search engines know what your content's actually about. That's what the crawlers are trying to do. They don't know like a human does, where they can just see the content and experience it. They can only read the code. They can only read the text. So give them the right text so they understand what your site's about. This applies just as much for mobile as it does for desktop. The last thing you need to do is make sure that you're optimized for local. Local search is extremely important, especially when it comes to a mobile device. So many users now are going around, whether it be in their car, they're walking, or they're shopping, and they use their phone to find products or services or locations where they know that they can get them. So making sure that you optimize for local, that you use your naps, your name, your address, your, your phone number, and it's legible and it's easy to find, that you make it really user-friendly. So when those people are engaging with your site on mobile, when they're out shopping, they can find your location, they can get there quickly, they can contact you quickly, they know your store hours, all those things that are so important for the user. Put yourself in their shoes and begin to think about what are the things that you need or want when you're looking to shop locally and using your mobile device. So there you have it. That's a couple things you can do to make sure your site is ready for the mobile first index. Yes, desktop's gonna matter. Regular search still plays a big role and a lot of people still search using their computers. But we have to place more of an emphasis on mobile search, mainly because Google's going there and society's moving there. As more and more people look to their smartphones as their primary source of connection, we as business owners, as site owners, as agencies need to make sure that we're ready where the people are and able to give them the right content at the right time. Have a great week and happy marketing.